Hey everyone, Brian the Lion here, 42 year old American living in the Philippines. In the dim light of a late evening, somewhere in the labyrinth of my own musings, it struck me. Homesickness is a peculiar creature. It's like this shadow that follows you, no matter how far you run or how exotic the lands you explore. I left everything, a life painted in the familiar hues of Portland, Oregon, USA, for the allure of distant horizons. Europe beckoned me with its siren's call, a whirlwind romance of cultures, Germany's stoic beauty, Italy's passionate embrace, Spain's fiery soul. And then, as if possessed by some wanderlust spirit, I found myself in Australia, riding the waves of an endless summer. But it was in BGC, Manila, Philippines, where the journey took an unexpected turn. There's something about this place that makes you want to drop anchor and call it home. Maybe it's the warmth of the people or the way the city pulses with life, an eclectic mix of the familiar and the exotic. It's easy to see why one might decide to stay, to trade the nomadic existence for a piece of this vibrant tapestry. Yet, with every adventure, there's the echo of what was left behind. Homesickness, that bittersweet symphony, plays in the background. It's not just a longing for a place, but a yearning for the connections, for the comfort of familiar faces, and the shared laughter that now seems worlds away. But here's the thing about being a globetrotter. Setting down roots in foreign soil, you learn the art of staying connected. Technology, that double-edged sword, becomes a lifeline. Video calls, instant messaging, the odd letter. It's like casting lines across the ocean, keeping the ones you love tethered to your wandering soul. It's a band-aid solution to a gaping wound, but it works, sort of. Building a new support network is akin to assembling a patchwork quilt. Each new friend, each acquaintance, is a piece of fabric adding warmth and color to your life. It's a slow process, filled with missteps and triumphs, but eventually you look around and realize you've woven a new kind of family. It doesn't replace the old, nothing ever could, but it enriches, it complements, it provides solace. This whole journey from the rain-drenched streets of Portland to the sun-soaked corners of Manila is a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Homesickness with all its melancholic glory is but a reminder of the bonds that shape us, the invisible threads that connect us across continents and oceans. It's a lesson in cherishing the old while embracing the new, in finding a balance between the world you've left behind and the world you've decided to call home. So here I am, a stranger, no more, in a city that's embraced me with open arms, still occasionally haunted by the ghost of homesickness, but grounded by the connections that span the globe. It's a strange, beautiful journey, this thing called life. And maybe, just maybe, that's the point. Navigating the labyrinth of life with its twists and unexpected turns, I've found myself often on the road or in the skies chasing the next horizon. Travel, it's the intoxicating mix of freedom and escape, a way to rewrite the narrative when the pages of your life start to yellow around the edges. But what happens to the bonds that tether us to reality, to family, when we're perpetually caught in the embrace of departure and arrival? Family dynamics, they're this complex dance of love, obligation, and the silent words left hanging in the air after a goodbye. To make a home in a new country is to add another layer of distance, another set of unspoken words to the family lexicon. It's not just miles, it's birthdays missed, anniversaries toasted over video calls, and the subtle shifts in relationships that happen when you're not looking. I have wandered a nomad by choice, or perhaps by an insatiable curiosity for the world beyond my immediate grasp. No children to anchor me, no marriage to define my path, 
Yet in the back of my mind, the thought lingers like the last light of sunset. What about one day? This lifestyle, this relentless pursuit of the next adventure, how does it fold into the dream of a family, of roots deeper than the fleeting connections made in passing? Travel, for all its beauty, carries the weight of solitude. It's in those quiet moments, in the stillness of a foreign night, that the reality of this existence whispers the loudest. Family life, with its chaotic beauty, seems like a distant shore, one I've yet to navigate. The idea of integrating someone else into this journey, of building something that withstands the pull of the next departure, is both exhilarating and daunting. And yet there's excitement in the unknown, in the possibility of discovering not just new places, but new facets of oneself. Perhaps in this vast world, there's a counterpoint to my wanderlust, someone with a compass that points in the same direction as mine. Maybe there's a way to build a life that's both anchored and free, a home that's not confined by borders, but defined by the people within it. The impact of travel on family life is a mosaic of missed moments and profound connections made across time zones. It's learning to hold on to the threads that bind us to those we love, even as we explore the far reaches of the globe. It's understanding that home is not just a place, but a feeling, one that can encompass the whole world if we let it. As for the future, it's an unwritten chapter, a road not yet taken. The thought of one day merging this life of perpetual motion with the stability of family is a puzzle I've yet to solve. But in the puzzle lies the adventure, and if there's one thing I do know, it's that the journey is worth every step. The impact of travel on family life? It's a question without a definitive answer. But I'm eager to discover it one mile at a time. In this grand, dizzying whirl of a world, it feels like the walls are closing in. Yet, paradoxically, our playground only expands. Every sunrise seems to pull distant horizons a little closer stitching the fabric of humanity tighter with the threads of technology and shared dreams. We're voyagers on the digital seas, where every port is just a click away, every culture a scroll through the infinite library of human expression. But here's the catch. As the world folds into our palms, the challenge isn't just to observe, but to engage, to dive headfirst into the kaleidoscope of traditions, beliefs, and stories that paint our global village. It's an intoxicating dance, a love affair with the unknown, fueled by an insatiable curiosity for what lies beyond our doorstep. In embracing this shrinking globe, we're not just spectators, but active participants in a story that spans the entirety of human existence. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already.